Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new game called 20 Small Mazes. This game looks really cool. I, um... Oh, use D-pad to move, okay. Yeah though, check it out. I, I didn't even want to go into options menus because this just looks so cool. Oh, that's the mouse, okay. Is the volume loud enough? Seems kind of quiet. I'm gonna turn it up on OBS. That should be more. No school here. That's kind of like ocean sounds. Alright, hold on. Just lowering the volume a bit so it's not super loud. This should be good. Yeah, though, very cool. Uh, free game on Steam. If you want to play it, you can check it out. Uh, I'm going to be playing through probably the whole thing today, so that might spoil it. If you want, you can um, go play it yourself and then pause the video and come back. Click and drag with the mouse to move mazes. Click on a maze to start solving it. Move the game menu out of the way to continue. Okay. So cool. Solve this to start a new game. So now that I've clicked on it. Okay, let's do slot one. Yeah, though, it's called 20 Mini Mazes. There's 20 of them. Maze fans will enjoy. This looks like just a really cool, fun uh, puzzle game, so I'm excited to try it. Alrighty then. I'm kind of curious about this one. Oh, maybe I find a key in a different maze? Okay. The exit is like right there. <laughs> okay, I see. So first move is that, and that pushes down. Does it keep doing that? Okay, so this much is kind of forced. Can I go up one? No. So that'll put me there. And then I can go... Oh no, I don't want to go there. Hold on, I want to go here. I don't think this works. Yeah, that puts me back at the start. This is very, very interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, if I go... There. No, then I'm still off. I need to get two away from the door. So I want to get one space above from where I am right now. Which is kind of tricky. That's force, and I can either go here... That's- that can't be it, right? No, that's almost it. I get back to this point. Where 
can I get from here though? This is uh, a really interesting puzzle here. Oh, it's that easy. <laughs> okay, so once you... Okay. Goblin, need a sword and shield to defeat. Blue lava, invisible lava lake, sword, shield. So you can grab the sword and the shield and that lets us get by the goblin. Okay, so I don't want to hit the walls, a little bit scary, that's collected, <laughs> can I beat the six year old's maze, that would be a good title for this one. Um. The exit is there. Oh, but I need a potion to get to the- okay. That area that says not lava on it is interesting because you don't really want to go there, but it does seem safe. Because it is not lava. A spiral you can get trapped in. Okay, I'll have to be careful about that one. Oh, I almost hit the edge. Oh man, this is tense. Okay. Okay, take a breath here. I've done harder Spelunky 2 Kaizos than this. This is very narrow, though. That's an invisible lava lake. I think the magic potion... Oh no, it only keeps me safe from lava at the exit, so it wouldn't keep me safe from the invisible lava lake. I'm assuming. Oh gosh, I'm getting way too close to that stuff. I have to click on it. Um, is there a key somewhere maybe? Oh, it's because I clicked on the door. I do still keep it. I must have gone out of bounds at some point. Interesting. Maybe it doesn't make a noise to warn you if you're going out of bounds. Oh, you can go faster than the ball can keep up. Let's go. Okay, that one was really tricky. See the door or anything? Alright, this one was in the trailer. You can fold it. Aha! I think I want to be here. No. I wanna be yeah. oh this is really cool. I like this a lot. I don't remember what to do with this part, so I'm just gonna keep going. I 
I think I solved that purely based on intuition. I have to get low. Oh, cool, you can also go that way like that. <laughs> I don't know what happens if I get squished there. I guess it doesn't work. Nice, that was a really fun one. I like that one a lot. Alright, it looks like this is the top half of that bottom one. Do I have to follow it? Halfway. Alright, um, let me do some counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so halfway would be 1, oops. It was 16, okay nice. It was 33 so I wasn't sure if it would um, be 16 or 17 there. I must have miscounted. Anyways, cloudy day. Alright, so it loops around like Pac-Man. Uh, let's check out this area then. That loops back. This one... Oh, this one might also loop back. I want to get... Oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, nice. Alright, what's this new one? Combination Vault. I think I need a code for that. Alright. Under construction. Plus C to undo, R to reset. Oh, so I get four hits. Okay. Um, that would take five. That would take six. I'm thinking straight down. Straight down takes two. I could go one, two, three, four. Okay. I figured it out. Two. Three. Four. Okay. I had to map that one out in my head. Gravity points down. Interesting. Oh, that is really cool. I like the. This game is so awesome. Wow. Alright, so... That arrow just brings me backwards, so it makes more sense to go here no matter what. And then... That would bring me backwards, so I want to go here. And there. And then I'm forced to fall here, forced to go there, and then I have a choice. I can go, uh, I think I just want to go left. Yeah. Oh no, because that resets. Unless... Um... 
No, it doesn't work. I could go this way. And then... That would take me down. Yeah, I think I made a mistake here. I want to get... Where do I want to get to? Oh, I think I did it by accident. Huge. I'm so good. <laughs> Gravity is bringing me down. Just for fun, we'll do it this way. Doesn't really make a difference. And then we just go straight. Alright, so I don't want to go to the left because that brings me back. So I want to go this way, this way, and then go all the way to this arrow, and then back to the door. And I go in it sideways, and that works. I are the maze. Oh, that's so clever. So there's no way I can just dodge these guys, so I have to get them through somehow. That doesn't work, because I get stopped by the other block. So these two have to line up like this. I can't move that way, but I can move this way. I can go up, up, left, left. Or I can go straight left. Does that work? I think I don't have enough space to maneuver outside. Oh, but I can't. Um, yeah, I can't do much with that. Maybe I want to get you. Oh, just get you through like this. That can't work, can it? <laughs> this is really, this is really unique. There's no way this would work. That'd be too easy. Can't duck underneath. I can't use the upper tile, so I have to start off. I mean, this looks the most correct way to start for me. I can't do anything from there. This is the only one... Where I could do something from. Oh, I put you back in? Okay. Oh, and then I put you back in. This is so unique of a concept. Is that the trick to it? I feel like I'm going backwards. But maybe that is how you solve it. No, I'm just going backwards. Oh, this is interesting.
Oh, we did it! Oh, so cool. <laughs> it's so cool! Wow, hungry snake. Okay, so I think we... We can't go backwards. Alright, gotta think this through. I need to eat not too many on the way. Oh. Maybe I go to the ending first. Yeah. Avoid that one, go to the ending first. Because this one is a one tile hole I need to get through. Yeah, ignore that one, ignore that one. Although now I think I'm too big to get this one. Am I? Yeah. So I must have to start with this one. Same for this one. These ones I leave. That one I leave. I think I want this one next. Yeah, because this one's pretty tight. But this one might also be too tight, potentially. Oh, okay. That's very good to know that the snake works like that. Okay. And we go. I have to say being able to squeeze past your tail is very unusual for a snake game. <laughs> that is a win though. R Y B space to rotate. Okay. I do want to go back there. This is a very big brain type of puzzle. Oh, that doesn't cross over with anything. Okay. So cool. So cool. Oh my gosh. Love this. I have to include a sliding puzzle to the law. Oh no. Torn between I hate it and I love it. It slides. Okay, you can just hit the button, though. That'd be too easy, huh? I'm actually just terrible at these as well. I believe that's where I started.
Okay, I need to get somewhere where I can be in that bottom middle. This cell and this cell would both work. That doesn't line up. That does, though. As does that. First off, I need to get my ball out of uh, this area. There we go. Alright, now anywhere... Ape in the middle. So that would be right. No, it's not perfectly middle, right? I think that is actually the only one I can get to right now. Because it needs to be an opening on the right side. And now the rest of them are exactly in the middle. So I must have to start off by going down. Okay, that kind of leads me back over, but it is a new place for me. Oh, hold on. Now I need something below me to get to the new spot. Okay, now I need something high right. That's too high. Uh, this one. That doesn't work. There we go. Wait, is that- am I just looping between these two? Is that what I'm doing? Yes. You know, sliding puzzles are my weakness. Climb. Oh boy. That is a long one. Endless loop. Oh no, I can escape still. No. Oh, wait. That was intended. 
I thought that was the end of the line for me. We did it! We climbed! <laughs> Putting the pieces together. Space bar to rotate. Oh, I have to think this through, huh? Alright. Um. Could be it. I don't know much about the corners. We have to start with the uh, edge pieces. That's it. Hmm, that doesn't line up correctly. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, they have to all be together at the same time for you to move. I thought maybe you could stay where you were. Wait, I'm just now realizing I can rotate the, uh, the middle piece, perhaps? Do you think so? No, oh, okay. The middle piece is not rotatable. So I need a path in, into there, and I need this piece to go where this other corner is, so I can stay along the outside, I think. And then I can connect all the outside pieces together, um, which like, this is the outside piece, it doesn't work though. Okay, I think this is right then. Yeah, that's outside piece. But how do I solve this? If it looks like this. Even though the pieces are aligned incorrectly, it is letting me solve, which is interesting. So I think um, this edge piece, well, there needs to be some way to get to the door. And it looks like that's a good place to start because the only way to the door is from this side. So that doesn't work. This works. So now we just follow from there. And we see how do we keep building a line for our guy. So that doesn't work. That works. Now we have to think which middle piece goes here. That doesn't work, so it's easy now. This one does work, but first off, let's just that's the other one. Like it would also work potentially. Ah, but then this outer piece is tricky. Let's go back to this other wall piece that we know also works. And that all works. Okay, cool. Really cool one. Yeah, and you can tell this one is the right alignment because all the lines connect. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Such a neat little puzzle game. Alright, 
enter your password. Alright, it's five digits. Scavenger hunt, find the missing items. Is the is the coin the sun? See inside hills. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Let's put that off to the side for now. You tab the maze lol. This is so genius. Oh my gosh, it opens up the other window. Okay, let's press R to restart first. So, what's the strategy? So it has to start with this, and this, and this. Um, I could push further and then push down, push down left arrow? No. Um, I could push down left arrow. Maybe? Let's test it. Now that's in the right spot. Oh, left arrow is there. Alright. Um, okay, so the arrows can coincide. Okay. Huh. 
tricky one. Let's see if there's anything easier. I kinda wanna do an easy one. No escape. There's no way this is the solution. Seems like a word scramble, maybe? Oh, I can't do R to reset for this one, which is very interesting. So right now I have read to the... Read the... Un unused alt... Read the unused letters. Oh, read the unused letters. Okay, so right now the unused letters are P Heck Yek Ersh Heck Hekik Rishi Yaz T press the esk uh cape key <laughs> press the escape key. Oh, that's a really good one. Call no escape, so you did escape. What's this do? Found a painting. Let's go. Hey, scavenger hunt. Okay, it's gotta have some use. There's something hidden behind the combination wall. This is how you beat the game. Oh, probably beat all the other uh, puzzles first for that one. See inside hills, not clouds. Alright, where would that bone be here? This looks like hills. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, so this is probably one of the last things you do because you have to get rid of the rest. Oh, do you have to solve it while dragging it around? Oh! So that's what you use the key on. I kind of cheesed that because it was off screen. <laughs> I knew I had to use on something though. I still wonder what the cloud is for. I this game is so cool. 
I can't believe this game is free. It's so well done. And the puzzle by the six-year-old is so good. Yeah, this is how you beat the game, just went up by a bit. I can't move the sun, which is interesting to me, because I can move the clouds. Alright, now everyone go away from the hills real quick. Can't move this one. I do want to make sure that there's nothing else hidden in the hills. I think we should be good though. I wonder if I'm going to lose the ability to see inside holes if the window will go away. Yeah, that was kind of satisfying though. Alright, let's try password again here. Oh, it's a push block puzzle, okay. Okay, good thing I played Void Stranger. Oh, you can push the push push block together. Admin? Maybe? I think it's just admin, but I will solve the puzzle because I want to solve it. Admin. Oh, the cloud was probably originally covering up the sun, but because I moved it, that puzzle was solvable. Alright, combination lock. Oh. Okay, I can't reset, um, so I don't know if starting position matters for this one. Is it something related to the actual lock or the actual maze? I think I started here, shoot. One, two, three, four. So there's four in top left. Oh. 
way more than that? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. So, 16 minus 9... Seven. Unless there's more that I'm missing here. Yo, welcome to the stream. Skonk was here. How's it going? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four. one of my numbers was off. Is there anything else I could use for this section? The fact that the cloud sticks around tells me there might be something more that I can do with it. Are you sure it's the number of squares? Huh. Yeah, because it seems like it's too high for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe it squares in a straight line. Maybe it's how long in seconds it takes to trace the route. That's probably overthinking it. Oh, it looks like a five, like visually, if you look at the trailing squares. Yeah, that might be it. And then this is a zero, right? Oh, or a nine. That was five, yeah. That's a seven, I think? Oh no. That's a E. What number is this? Oh, two! Two, right? This game looks sick. I wish I joined when there was actually 20 mazes. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's it's really good. It's free. It's free on Steam. I highly recommend playing it after uh, watching me play. It's really, really good. And it's free. This is just a 1, I think. Or not? Maybe a 3? What number is this? Is this a real number? Oh. 4! Maybe one of these was wrong. Alright, so we start here. This was a five. Yep. And then this one here was a four. Yep. This one here was a two. Hold on a sec. Maybe a seven? Or a fancy one? Fancy one? Yeah! Really good. <laughs> Thanks for that skunk, I would have been stuck forever. Although I generally don't like backseating, that one, I don't think I would have gotten that. Alright, we got just two left, I think. Anything else off to the side here? Let's see here. The dev's gonna make a jigsaw game too. Yeah, if I uh, say, please help me, I am stuck, that means that's the secret signal to help me. <laughs> like the chicken nugget. So that is a part of the window, this door. Hold on, was there more I could do with this? I could use this to push up this. Does that help anything? Um... I could use this one to push it more to the left, but it gets stopped by the ceiling. Pretty sure this is the start. I can push that down arrow. Oh wait, maybe let's do this at the start. Yeah, I was thinking I had to move the player, but I didn't. I just had to move those blocks to set up for it. And then I just click away. I don't think you would have gotten that one that quick. Uh, I kind of worked on it before <laughs> and decided to come back to it. I do that a lot when I get stuck. Still off. Okay, I have to get to... 
one of them that's exactly at the bottom. So this one's four cross, that one's four cross. She kept that a secret and said I was secretly a genius of puzzles. No. That's where I just was, wasn't it? Actually, honesty is a good policy. <laughs> Oh, these two line up. So I have to get to bottom left. I have to get two tiles above there. So what's a good way of getting two tiles up? This square. Which means I have to get Man, this one's brutal. I don't know what it is about sliding puzzles, but like the one in uh, that other game I was just playing, the Sleepy Knights of Bell Kingdom or whatever, but I just could not figure it out. Okay, so I want to get in this same square, but on this side. Is that the only way out? Uh, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, two, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles. Okay, yeah. <laughs> three tiles up. This one works. This one should also work. So now I have a choice. But they both bring me the same area. At least I'm pretty sure. That's the one I came from, right? Here we go. Now we're in the door, which is the first time I've been this far. I think we're closer than we've ever been. Oh, that's kind of cool how that lined up. Wait, that's where I came from. They both lead you three tiles up, so there's not really a difference. Maybe I want to go out the left. Like this. Oh, 
Oh my god, I got so much of this together. I have to get here, because here is four tiles from the bottom, and this one's four tiles from the top. So I have to get left bottom, which is this tile. Oh, I'm trying to keep track of all this. So I want to go here. This tile is the correct tile to go for next, I think. Which means... I have to go up here. No. <laughs> um... So close yet so far, yeah. This is kind of a brutal one. I don't know, I do feel like this is a good tile to be in. <laughs> Let me in! Dude, this puzzle is insane. I need to, like, map this out. Okay. So for the door, you need to be here. To be here, you need to be here. To be here, you need to be here. And to be there, you want to be here. And to be there, you want to be here. And to be there, you want to be here, 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 is there actually no way in this one? Here, here. I just want to find a connection to this one and I can't. Uh... Here. Okay, here goes to That doesn't line up. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so I have these two options, basically. I have here and here. 
So if I go down this way, I'm two tiles, or I can be three tiles. So would I rather be two tiles or three tiles? If I go three tiles, I can be here, which we established as being good, I believe. Right? You've lost track of the good piece? Yeah. Um, but I can get up there and then three down from the right. I want to get here. I want to get here. <laughs> so I want to get two from the bottom which would work for here. Two from the bottom. Is that the only path forward here? The only one that is three? I think so. So then I want to go up. That's three from top. Um, this one's also three from top. So I think that's the next step. And then three from bottom leads to three from bottom here, which leads down, which leads back here. But that doesn't connect to the door, right? The temptation to quit on 19 puzzles. <laughs> this one is awful, dude. Oh my gosh. It'll be the death of me. I have four pieces I can go into right now. With this uh, permutation. Which you'd think would be a lot of options. But I feel like I just am going back and forth. Feels like watching Sisyphus pushing the boulder. Da -da -da. Okay, let's start from the door again. Okay, four tiles across. The only one that's four tiles across is this one. So I have to be two tiles up. The only one that's two tiles up is this one, which leads me to two tiles down. Two tiles down. here, four, isn't the one in the top right also four across, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's two possibilities. That makes it way harder. Thanks, Skonk. <laughs> no, now there's like double the possibilities. Uh, how can I map this out in my head? But you're right. I thought this was a lot more simple than it was. Double the opportunity to get to the door, I guess. Where where even was I? <laughs> okay, so I want to get there. So I want to be two from the top. 
which brings me back to either here or here. And no matter which one you choose, you have to be two from the side, which is only this one. So I want to get one, two, three, four. Wait, is that a self-fulfilling prophecy? That's the same length as the door, which is what I already can't get to. Wait, this one's two from the top. If I'm up here... No, that doesn't line up. Fun. <laughs> so fun. Ah, oh, the temptation to look up a video. Can there... Can there be the R button that sends me back to starting position? That would actually make this like 10 times easier. I could try quitting out. I could try quitting out. The thing is, I want to do what I normally do for sliding glass puzzles, which is, uh... Does it save your progress? I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay. That is so brave. Yeah, I could have had to do 20 more. <laughs> Puzzles instead of one more puzzle. But I would have started with this one. Yeah, this does let you go back to the start. Which should make it easier. Okay, so starting off, you have to go to the left. So there's only two places uh, that can do anything for you here. Only this one, actually. I'm pretty sure, anyways. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that one's five up. That one's five up. That one's five up. At least there's a uh, graph paper here, which makes this a lot easier. Okay. So now I'm two to the right. So I can either go here, or I can go here. I think I wanted to go here, because if I go here, even with the graph paper, you feel like you can't count. Yeah, it's just like a little bit too much. If it was like one less lane in each, in the Y and the X axis, it would be way, way easier. Yeah, though, I had a feeling I wanted this, so that... Take me there, and I can go there... And let me go... There, there... No, that doesn't line up. Here... Oh wait, here would work, right? Here's where I wanted to get... 20 small mazes instead of 20 easy mazes? Yeah... Yeah... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to go down. Um, this is three away, so I couldn't go there anyways. So I definitely want to go here. And then I'm pretty sure I do want to go in here. And then this is so close. I'm literally one tile off of, like, where I would want to be. But I have to go here. That part's forced. And then, yeah, I wanted to go here. And that connects to that piece. Does it connect to anything else? Three across, three across, three across, three across. No. So this is forced. That brings me three away. Which 
brings me here. Still not quite there. Which... That's where I came from, right? Is this just an infinite loop if I keep going down? Is this, isn't that where I came from? Oh boy, I sure hope it isn't. Um, come on. Okay, back to this area. This area is not that bad. I hate how smoothly they come together. The loop continued, yeah. Oh man. There must be some way I haven't gone yet. I feel like I keep going the same way. That progress bar is taunting me. <laughs> oh boy. I think something happens if you cover up the sun completely. The menu also being a maze is cheap. Yeah, this, it's so good. I mean, I guess with the menu, it's technically 21. <sighs> I made a maze game once. I was just a little lad. You played as a squid and you popped bubbles. And it was made in Multimedia Fusion 2. And I remember um, you popped so many bubbles that the game would lag. Okay, so the start is forced, so there's no optimizations there. And then here, I think there's a couple options on where you can go. There's that one. There's just that one. So that's forced. And then you have to go to the right, so you can go to the right there. Or you can go here. By the door. I think by the door wasn't great. So let's try going this way now. That way wasn't great either. Have I gone this way? They're both the same! Wait, so what's the difference then? They're both three down. Is that why it's so confusing? Because these are just the same? That's kind of annoying. Okay, and then this is another one where there's two things. So we know that the door isn't... wasn't right. That's where we just were, I think. But that's also the only way? No, it's one off. Oh, that one's always one off. Okay, now we're three from the top, which I think was somewhere I wanted to be once in another lifetime. Two away from bottom. That's an infinite loop with these two tiles. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go with three from the top. 
Okay, hold on. Let me do some stuff. Okay. We're mapping this out. So that's one. So we can get there from here. So let's test this out first. So that's four across, two, which takes you to three. Three. Um, I can't see my marker because it's teeny tiny in MS Paint, which is terrific. I love that. I think it can only go there or there, and I don't think the difference matters because they're the same. So we go to four, which takes us to five. Five takes us to six, which takes us to seven. And seven can only go back to one, right? No, a seven can go here to eight, which can take us to nine, which takes us... Wait, is there actually no ten? There's no way. Oh, it uses the same tile, which takes us to ten. 10 takes us to 11, which is 3 from there. So it could either be here or here. Does it make a difference? I don't know. Um, but 11 takes us to 12, which takes us to 13. You can't go from 9 to 10? What do you mean? Because they're the same tile. You're right. <sighs> There's no way to get to nine. Okay, we can salvage this. One, two, three, four, five. Has to go here, that's four, six, seven. Three and four don't connect either. Yeah, but I can move them. Oh wait, no, they're on the same side. <laughs> All right, this is worthless.
Mapping seem like a good idea, though. <sighs> yeah. A lot of things sound like a good idea. And you try them and realize why people don't do them. I love when the maze moves a little because it you can move it after you hold it, change it because it's the same button press, which is really cool. There's a way! Move diagonally! You can do it! I just need one diagonal move and I have this. Hold on a sec here. Unpausing the YouTube upload to share that the sliding puzzle solution is this. Just move the ball when it's next to the door. And someone said, You are so lucky you got that bug. Yep. So, uh... I don't know. Guess I'll just keep trying. That's not real, that can't be real. I don't know. I don't think this is possible. I feel like if I can't even map it out, you know, what What are we doing here? You try to map it out and it's definitely possible. Oh, you just do that. Right, that makes sense. Give me my money. Solve 20 small mazes. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> that was not intentional. I don't know how it just worked that one time. When I did some weird shuffling. Ambiance. Freesound.org. This shows how good a game you can make without even having, like, music. Thank you to everyone who makes sounds and posts them online. Hey, I do that, technically. I make sounds of me, uh, criticizing games. <laughs> Why does this seem like a, a rap song? Pop, low, a H1 wab, Inspector J. 
Changes were made. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks for playing my game. Take care. A game by Pleb. Really good game. I wish I didn't uh, suffer so much on the sliding glass puzzle. <laughs> that seems like something that was intended to be solved in like two seconds. And then I got there and I was like... Uh... Pain. Suffering even. Alright though, if you enjoyed this episode of 20 Small Mazes, be sure to check it out on Steam for free. Pretty cool. Gets a recommendation from me. Actually, before I end the video, let me do one thing. You know what it's time for. Steam reviews. Very fun. Recommend going into it blind. Uh, blind. A couple puzzles. Well, I guess one puzzle in particular. Actually, I'd say a couple, because the... That one with the numbers I never would have figured out without you, Skonk, probably. A couple of puzzles seemed a lot harder than the other ones. But very cute game for free. Not much to complain about. Sound design is very good. And the puzzles are charming. You won't be going blind, but it's also 4.40 AM, so I don't think I'll be remembering the solutions that you saw. Wow, nice weird time zone. It's 2.41 AM in normal people land. <laughs> what else was I saying? Wow, all right then. Hey Skonk, do you want VIP? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you VIP. Help! Alright, sound design is very good and the puzzles are charming. Um... Just... Simple and clean fun. Kingdom Hearts reference. Alright, this game is very, very good. So now we have to see what people that didn't like it had to say. <laughs> Too bright. Save feature didn't work. No Kendrick Lamar. I am dumb. <laughs> you know, I'll give that a funny. Sideways thumb. 30 minutes waiting for the slow character to move. Char what are you talking? It's not that slow. 80% on average. Alright, that's a fair thing to complain about. I'll give you that. GPU mine, Brother, there's no GPU mining in 20 small puzzles made with a puzzle by, like, the six-year-old daughter or son or whatever. Child. Non-binary. Who knows? <laughs> Slide puzzle. Okay. That one gets a yes for me, dog. Too hard. So, that's a bad. Brother. Just tar terrain. Oh, that, that, I don't like that profile pic. Gimmicks. AKA fun. Honorable mention excellence in design. Pog. Least friendly UI. Came painful to look at. 21st Maze is just trying to locate the maze you're trying to solve. I'm glad the guy who made this game made it free so he went bankrupt. <laughs> why? Why? I was going to say, why are people hating on this cute maze game? But I am actually looking for negative reviews just to see if anyone had any actual critique, but it's all just garbage. Somehow delete my save when I had just one last maze to do, WTF. 
Sorry this happened. If you can tell me anything about what happened here, I'd love to know more details. <sighs> this dev doesn't deserve this, man. Alright, let's look at the, um... You said there was a sequel coming out? Why why Steam Store doesn't work? There we go. This is 20 small mazes. This space intentionally left blank. That looks really fun. Wow. So cool. Such a cool game. I kind of like games that are just kind of cool and not like, hey, check out this open world MMO where you shoot goblins or whatever. <laughs> you know, there's games that can just be fun. This feels like a game you'd find on itch.io. So I'm glad that um, the dev was able to pay the because Steam charges you a hundred bucks to put a game on the store, even if you sell it for free, which is pretty dumb. But yeah, I would give this guy... <laughs> I was going to say a hundred dollars for the next game, but I don't know if I'd give that much. But if the next game costs like five bucks or more, I'd probably still buy it. Simple games hold a special place in your heart, yeah. I really want to go back and play an Untitled Story and Treasure Adventure game and Cave Story. Feels like a game you'd play in the computer lab in elementary school. Yeah! Bring back Flash games. Honestly. 20 Small Mazes mostly playable with controller? Oh boy. That's, uh... Not something I would ever want to do. You miss Flash games? Yeah, me too. I think there is a new Bloons Tower Defense they made. Bloons Tower Defense 6. Well, not new new, but new if you're like me and you only played Bloons TD4. I don't even know what happened to 5. Does anyone play that one? Is that a real game? Anyways, I should probably end this video because it has uh, kind of lagged on. But 20 Small Mazes... Highly recommend check it out, and uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.